Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and today we're going to talk about the new Edge Chromium based browser and talk about the tracking prevention and privacy settings. It's kind of important to know that you know we are being tracked online of course but the new Edge browser has some mitigation, has some options to actually limit the amount of tracking that websites can actually do and the amount of information that you actually can you know they'll get from you while you go on the internet so all you have to do is simply uh, take the new edge browser download it if you haven't done so once again if you download it remember that you don't it doesn't change anything on other browsers so you know you got nothing to lose to try it go on the upper right corner in the three horizontal dots and there you go into settings where we'll go to is privacy and services so you got tracking prevention in this browser the default tracking prevention is balanced there's basic and there's strict and you might want depending on what you um, want as privacy to choose one or the other Balanced is the one recommended because it actually makes a balance between the amount of tracking that is blocked and the amount of tracking that they'll let through because blocking tracks, um, the tracking too much might actually break websites. Websites do check what you actually are uh, seeing. And if they see that maybe you have too much uh, tracking that is blocked then they don't like it because that means we might have less ad revenue so sometimes the website will refuse to load or will tell you well you know uh, we don't allow you here because you're uh, you know blocking uh, a lot of the stuff that we want to actually be able to see about you so balanced means it's usually okay it, they're, they're gonna block a certain number of trackers uh, it is better than using just you know, say Google Chrome with its normal uh, tracking that doesn't really prevent much, um, but it actually is a better uh, way of having partly some privacy online. If a website doesn't work, you can go to basic, which means almost everything will actually be, um, you know, working. All the trackers will be left there and all of that, which means your privacy is going to, of course, not be very private. And finally, they're strict. You might say, well, why don't we use the strict one? Well, that's because a lot of websites can be broken because of that. It blocks the majority of trackers from all the sites. And uh, content and ads will likely have minimal personalization. So you can try it if you want. If you want more privacy, strict is the way to go. But remember that it actually can break websites so if you can't go into a website maybe your tracking prevention is too high remember that you can turn on or off there's a general switch just above the squares here that you can choose for tracking what's interesting also is block trackers just below these squares you could see block trackers if you click here it's going to tell you all the trackers that have been blocked and how many times they have been blocked so as you go through different websites you will see what is being blocked. Here, for example, it says tracking prevention blocked 347 trackers. So this is interesting information because you have an idea, a general idea of what is happening on the web. You can also allow exceptions. So you can actually add a website. So for example, if you choose uh, strict and it breaks a specific website, what you could do is go to exceptions and add that site to the websites that you don't want that to happen. So you could type here, for example, www.google.com and add that website. That means when you go on Google, tracking is not uh, blocked on that website. So if you have a website that is broken because of that, you can actually add it to a list of, well, you know, let the trackers go on this one. Finally, you have at the bottom clear browsing data. So you can choose what to clear and manage your privacy settings here. 
and there's of course uh, requests that you can do for example do not track requests can be sent out unfortunately do not track is just a suggestion that means it will ask the website not to track you but if the website refuses and says that I want to track you it doesn't block anything that's very important to know and of course you have all the rest of personalization and experience and services uh, from the website but the most important part here is the tracking that we were talking about and how to uh, understand the different levels and um, if you use strict remember you can actually add exceptions to some of your favorite websites that might be broken because of this if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching